What's up everybody? So I'm gonna give you three effective high percentage ways on how to get into the front headlock, okay? First one being off of your partner's collar tie. So you got a collar tie, your partner gets a collar tie. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make a fist, you're gonna drive it into your partner's throat and you're gonna start walking him back. When he starts giving you adequate pressure, meaning his chest is going further than his front knee, right? He's pushing in, that's when we got the pressure, we plant in and then we snap. When we snap him down, what we're doing, we're snapping. It's like we have water on our hands and we're trying to flick him off. All right, we're gonna send all of the energy down. We're gonna drive our shoulder right on top of his spine, right where his spine meets his neck. Get this tricep grab, get off your feet and pressure into him. Okay, let's see that one more time. Collar tie to collar tie. Make the fist, drive into him. Notice how when I drive in, I'm getting this separation with the arm. Okay, I wanna drive into him so that his arm gets straight. So that way when I when I snap, this arm drops down into the crook of his elbow, and then I shoot him down, okay? So here we go, collar tie, collar tie, pressure. Once he gives me adequate pressure, I snap, dish him down, get to my front headlock, tricep grab. And we want good pressure here, shoulder in the middle of the back, driving in, so we can switch to anacondas, we can switch to guillotines, or we can get to the back. Okay, let's see it one more time from a different angle. Collar tie to collar tie. Fist, extend, so I've got full extension here. And when I go to snap, it drops down. See how that grip broke? Boom, all right, so pressure, and then boom, right into our front headlock. And I think you saw, Garrett will edit this and kind of slow it down, but as we go back, as we snap, our feet are going back. All right, we're sprawling into it, so when we hit the mat, all of our energy goes down into the top of the spine. There you guys have it. That is the first way to get your snap down to work. All right, guys, we are in our front headlock series. The second way to get this guy into a front headlock is off of their poor shot or their poor setup for a shot. So we're wrestling, right? If this guy doesn't have a good shot or I'm a good sprawler, I'm gonna be able to sprawl right into front headlock. So let's say he shoots for a double leg, boom. And before he can get to my legs, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprawl out, get this overhook, push down on the head, and drop right down into my front headlock. Okay, so we're gonna go real slow, try to keep the motion kind of constant, but as he's shooting, hip down, hip goes all, to, all the way to the mat, then I settle into my chin strap front headlock. Let's see that from a different angle. I'm defending here, forcing him to take a shot without a good setup, and then when he shoots, boom, right into my front headlock. Notice how my hip goes all the way to the mat. In high school wrestling, what they say is get your shoelaces to the mat. So if he, keeps, if he starts driving, see how he keeps sliding back, keep driving, keep driving, yes. Right? Um, pretty simple. But just make sure you're hipping down. You almost wanna like hit his shoulder with your hip. Boom! Just like that. So now all that weight, especially if he's lunging out this way, it's going right down into his shoulders, snapping him down, he's gonna build up, you get right into your front headlock. All right, that is the second way that you can find yourself in this front headlock position. All right, third and final high percentage way on how to get into this front headlock is just a classic shot setup. So we're in a collar tie, right? He's got this weight in his lead leg, he's in a good stance, chest out, back straight, head up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe for this leg. I swipe for the leg to get that leg back. Now look at his positioning. Just pause right there. I'm gonna look how his chest is not over his, uh, his knees anymore. So when I snap him, there's nothing that's gonna carry his weight. When his leg was forward, bring your leg forward now, Vinny. When I snap him, all this weight is going into his lead leg. When I swipe that back, now he's really easy to take forward. So let's go ahead and exaggerate that motion, like get into a heavy staggered stance. I boom, he steps it back. So he even had to switch that one up a little bit. And then all I do is I grab this armpit, slide down the back, cup, and drop. All right, let's see it from the other angle. Collar tie, I swipe for the leg. Now I've broken his posture, and now yank, sprawl, drop the shoulder, okay? Now let's talk about another thing that's really important here. In jiu-jitsu setting, you're not gonna run into this much. But against another high-level wrestler, 
you have to watch about snapping him into your legs. So if I don't sprawl out properly or down block properly, I'm gonna snap this guy right into my legs. So let's say I set this all up, I get a beautiful snap, but he goes right into my legs. So notice how as I snap him down, I'm sprawling my leg back. Yo. So even if you shot for my legs, they're very far away, all right? There you guys have it. That is how to get into front headlock, the third way. Two, one. That was three really effective ways on how to get in a front headlock. I'm gonna show you another one that's just a slight variation, okay? So we got this guy in a collar tie. What we, all we're gonna do is we're gonna move him around to break that posture because the principle of this is getting his posture broken to snap him down. You can try to snap him down all day, but get it back, get your back solid. You're not gonna snap him down because all that weight's going into that lead leg. I need to get this lead leg broken. Another way you can do that is just a circle. Just like that. Look at his posture now. His feet are together and he's really easy to tip forward. Okay, so I just wanna get him out of this to this situation and then I can snap him. So let's do it like right here. All I'm doing is boom, boom. All right, to get him snapped down there. Just another one. Um, when you're working snaps, just think, get his posture broken, whether it's swiping a leg, whether it's sprawling on his shot, whether it's setting him up with the, with the, uh, with the fist. We're just getting his posture broken to get our snap off. There you guys have it. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, getting in front headlock is a huge benefit for a wrestler coming into jiu-jitsu, so really make sure to nail those.